Okay, okay. there we go. Um, here we're putting together a crystal battery for you. This is a kit that we sell. And uh, I'll explain this first. This is a semiconductor piece of copper. This has been fired to make a semiconductor. This is originally the way that it looks. Um, these two DVDs, part 27 and part 29, uh, explain exactly how this battery works. Okay, so Chuck is showing you there's an insulator ring in here. We're going to drop it in there. And he's going to put the alum in. Okay. And then he's going to wet that. And it's going to This is how you grow your crystal battery. And then expose this retainer ring. Okay. Push it down, and then you're going to hook up the piece of magnesium with a stainless steel screw. And you're going to push it down in there. And then he's going to add a little more alum over this ridge. There's a ridge on the piece of magnesium here. So you can see right away you've got a light. Let's turn this light off so you can see what's going to happen here. It's really a simple kit to put together. Now you're going to wet that. It's probably best to use distilled water, but whatever water you have. And then sort of Chuck will flatten it out and actually you can put the alum above the ridge there. We're just doing this for to show you just how to put it together. And you gotta, there you go. And use it for a bathroom light or you can order in green, red, white, or blue. And that's a pretty bright light. Shine it at me over here, Chuck. Yeah. And so that's basically how you put this kit together. It's very simple. And there's only a few pieces. And you can start growing your crystal battery. Shine it on that. Actually, let's walk over here at where it's dark. And we'll just take it in a closet. Okay, so we'll just uh, follow Chuck. I'm going to just take it in, in here, in the, uh, and we'll give you an idea of how much light there is in the dark. That shows you. Come, go ahead and shine it at me. It's, it's pretty bright. So you could read by that light. And that'll go for hours and hours and hours and days and days and days. Probably about every four or five days you'd have to water that. Okay? So that's what we wanted to show you. Thanks.